Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Inscription, Casey's Mod. What do we got for decks here? So we, we did this yesterday. We played that the day before. Ants. We're going to play a vanilla deck here today. We got uh, Challenge Level 9. Challenge Level 9. Let's do the uh, the dang totem battles double for sure. Uh, We'll do Weak Start for sure. I feel like it's, uh, it's the easiest addition that we've had offered to us for a while. Honestly, I think that single candle is terrible. I, I got it should be 30 challenge points because there are a lot of situations where the combination of the totem you get and the fight you have guarantee a like actually actually guarantee a loss. I I genuinely do believe so. And I think that weirdly enough on higher challenge levels the boss fights are, t aside from the last one, all the, the the three original boss fights are easier than the standard potential totem fights. I firmly believe that. I firmly believe that you can t you can OTK all of the bosses ex all of the bosses except for the final one. So single candle seems stupid to add. Like this, I think that this is thirty challenge points. Maybe like I think it's maybe too low. I genuinely think that it might be too low for challenge points. We are gonna process. Let's see here. Let's do the fifteen there. Uh, I can. I don't care about one there. Don't care about one there. That leaves us with twenty. What do we need to do with challenge? I mean, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Bop bop. Some people said somebody mentioned they wanted to see a run with a uh, without boss no boss rares. So let's do that. We'll we'll keep we'll keep things fresh that way. We have we've not been getting a lot of rares, which I gotta say is kind of exciting because it makes it so rares are more fun to get. But hey, what do we got here? So okay, gotta be honest. That's a no-brainer to me. Those two things right there are a no-brainer to me. We take this sigil, we put it on somebody else immediately though right uh otherwise well, we could take we could take bullfrogs here's the thing we can't really sack the bullfrog onto i was gonna say sack the bullfrog onto the stoat and then kill the stoat because they are both literally one ones which is so bad <laughs> uh but we kind of if we're gonna keep the dire wolf we need the one drops even though we do have the cat, but the cat only counts for one. It would just be... Uh, it's... Ideally, I want to get the Dire Wolf's buff onto a one drop that does at least two damage. That is the dream. Dire Wolf, truth be told, Dire Wolf's stat line is goofed. Uh, he is such a... He's such a sigil sacrificial bait because... He doesn't... I don't really care if he has 5 health. I would prefer him to be a 3-1. I genuinely would prefer him to be a 3-1. Uh, but what do we have here? See, I could put it on the wolf. But a 2-drop is a little bit more expensive than I want. Still. Still. So I kind of want to wait and see if we can get lucky at a fire. Maybe get, like a, get our stoat. Do a potential sacrificial bait on the stoat to make him a 3-1 or at remove from my deck, and then we give him that. Uh, this is kind of a weird start. There's a there's a lot of thinking I have to do here. A lot more than I normally do this early. But I think if we're not doing that, then we're a silly man. I think we just have to do this for now. I don't love it. I don't love it. But I did say if I, if I had my choice, I would make him a 3-1. And guess what? I made him a 3-1. That being said, uh, the reason I'm hesitant on it is because I I could probably I think it's feasible to assume that either the stoat or the uh, frog I would be able to um, get them. Ooh. Wait, stoat? Do I just okay? What we want to do I think is bip. Bop. Do that, I guess. 
Take a squirrel next turn and we win. Bop, bop, bop. Right? Yeah, we win. We win. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know what? The uh, the one super simple starting card combo that I've had that uh, blew me away the most, surprisingly, was Red Heart. Power grows as blood is spilled. We're taking it. It's new. I, I, I kind of wanted the dire wolf, but hey, we're taking it. We're taking it. It's new. Health. Health upgrade. I can sacrifice the frog via... Yeah. I can sacrifice the frog via the, the uh, altar, so... I cannot do that with Monsieur Stoat. All right, yeah, the red hot, uh, red hot, hot, <laughs> red heart is interesting. Oh, wait, that's not going to move over because the rabbit, you silly goose. I can win. But I do want to see... Okay. Let's wait a little bit. There'll be a better... Oh, we have the defenders. Rip. Rip. Saying there's a chance. I could. I. Yeah. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Just win. Just win. Such an extreme amount of overkill, too. So is this a two? It's a two! This seems bad. It's not how many you've sacrificed overall, it's how many you sacrifice on the turn. It makes sense. It'd be too easy for it to be super broken. But I almost wish it was like a... Uh, oh, God, I can't do... I can't... I can't make Lamborghini work, too, can I? Oh, God, we need something cheap. I don't really want Raven that much, but Raven's egg is better than Raven. That's the, that's the cold, hard facts. Oi. I don't know, man. I don't know. I can go to the buffer. Ay, 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 ay. If I get fecundity on cat, red heart is uh, actually, you know, like completely busted. Like, if we get fecundity on cat, red heart actually can do infinite damage. So I need to make sure I don't put the sigil on cat. I'm literally doing this to get rid of the, uh, the bullfrog. That's it. I'm doing it to get rid of the bullfrog. That being said, we have a very, very low amount of one drops. That cannot be uh, expressed strongly enough, but boy, do we have a very thin deck, which can be beneficial. We know what we have. Okay. I think we just, okay, we just win.
We win if we don't press any buttons. Oh. Okay. There we are. Easy breezy beautiful. Okay, I am really hoping for a great sigil. <gasps> That's a great sigil. Boy, howdy. That is a great sigil. That that solves a lot here. here I, I guess I put it on the cat, huh? I guess I put it on the cat, and we uh, hope that we don't see fecundity super soon. Because I will be bummed. And then I guess we might use this literally just to, um... This is our entire deck. <laughs> this is the whole thing. I don't want to... I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Not with a new card. I okay. I'm so glad that this is not the miner. If we if we fought the miner, I don't know that there would be a win condition for me, genuinely, because we would have you have to have two win conditions to beat the miner. You have to have two win conditions in your deck, and I I have one, and it's tenuous. Thank God. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is actually the bullfrog. So what we want to do, and I hate this, we have to take forced, a force three damage. Because otherwise these guys are going to jump to block them. Boom. Yeah, we have to take the damage, I think. I see the I see the way out. Oh. But the thing is we couldn't have them jumping over to block there, otherwise yikes. It's effectively so. All right. Let me process this. We have lethal. I'm I'm like I'm almost positive, right? We're not We don't have lethal this turn. Bow, overkill. Bow, three. That's fine, because it doesn't die. It'll die next turn, but that's fine. It'll be on the field that's ready. Uh, I kind of want to put Red Heart out just because. You know what? Let's do it just to, just to see the funny, funny big number. What is it at? Five. Okay, okay it's kind of a win more card. I don't really. Eh, whatever. And it's back down to zero. This card sucks. It's so bad. It's a two drop. How is it a two drop? This card would be better if it was a one drop with like, uh, like one or two health. I think if this was a, it had two. Wait, no, it was a. It has two health to start. What the hell? It either needs a lot more health, like it needs four health at a base, or, I oh God, because yeah, that's, the fact that it doesn't keep, does not keep what it is that you, on the turn you spawned it on, we, we have to, you have to have an infinite for this to be good. That's some, that's some jank, man. 
It's either have an infinite or this card is very mediocre for a two drop. Because it has two HP. You need to get three sacrifices in a turn for it to be equal to a wolf. Uh, this is very obviously the one to pick. Like, you have to... I, I don't see it being functional without fecundity. Like, or... Or, um... Infinite lives. I'm, I'm... I'm curious. I would love to make it work, and I'm not saying it can't work. But we have to get, like, an Infinite Life card here, which we do have. See, here's the thing. There is a shot now. If we get Fecundity on Ouroboros, this is the most broken deck that we could have possibly ever received, I think. But we have to get Fecundity on Ouroboros. Or... Or Fecundity somewhere. I'll, I'll take Raven Egg to merge him, mostly. I, I don't want to take the rando card right now. Totem? No. Backpack, definitely not. Fire. There's a Mycologist. So be a little careful with the egg, I guess. Power. I don't want the cat to have attack, because then if there's anything with, like, spiky or something. Plus, we couldn't put put it behind rocks or eggshells or things like that if it has any attack. Do I... Here's a... Oh, Pause a question. Do I want to merge the raven? Because then, if I go to my colleges, I could get offered a dupe Ouroboros. Get out of here. Please, please die. Please die. Please die. Eggs for breakfast. God, screw you. Ah, oh, we actually didn't. We wanted that gone. Oh, shoot. Is there another mycologist? Ah, oh, beans. Because we would have either been offered another Ouroboros or potentially another cat. Um, so... Uh, hello? Okay, the raven's going to do four damage, which is great. This is some weirdness. I don't like it. Oh, that's so perfect. This is so... That's so ideal. Alright, um... I don't need to do anything yet. I know I have the score on the bottom, but I, I don't need to do anything yet. There's no rush until there's something in the upper left. Okay, now there's a minor rush. But at this point we have the uh, we have the win con, so screw you. Condition 1. Oh. Holy moly. I'm so glad we're Borkin. I'm just we we win we win this turn. I want to know what's here. That's cat. Hello. Hello. If I could have got Uro Burrows, I would have done a little bit of goofing. A little bit of... We God, I just need... I need literally anything with fecundity. Oi, oi, oi. Don't really want to do a card removal right now. Unless I want to go up, go here, kind of like intentionally fail it, remove, hope for... No, we have this. Well, yeah, hope for my college is up there. 
lucky to do, but uh, one more. It's fine, 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 fine. Maybe we'll get lucky. He didn't. But I'll tell you what, Beehive is uh, a really, really good potential game break tool. Ooh, we haven't forced alter though. So we're gonna have to probably sack Beehive onto something else. Yeah, combine these. Honestly, this is a good card now. Like, I can't be mad at it. It's a 2-4. So it's gonna have, uh, oh God, does it? How does it work when it transforms? It probably turns into a, a four five. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know what it turns into. I don't know how that works with with the mycologist egg. Because I don't think it's just going to be a doubled raven with plus two health. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it quite works like that. But again is a very good card now. Beehive Grand. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, I kind of need to... I think I need to act fast, do this, maybe use our squirrel. Hopefully we get... Okay, we got the cat. It's great. Do we have do we have an infinite already? I'm trying to process that. Do we have an infinite already? No. We don't have an infinite, but we have a red heart build a Bruin. Okay, we got a B. We need something to kill our... Uh, okay, good. We got something, we got something to cooking. Okay, well. Well. We, we win. We do win, so let's. Stack up Mr. Ubi. I can't kill him again, though. I can't kill him again, so there's no point. Yeah, I gotta be honest, Red Heart is... It's interesting, but look at... You You need this, this kind of... Exact kind of a play style and deck for it to be pretty good. Do we want a card here? I think we do. Uh, literally impossible for us to get kin. Sigils, very likely. Power, not very likely because I think that the, we have the zero, we have the zero, and I think this counts as a zero. So, right, it was sigils. If we want to win, we go sigils. And usually we want to win. We won. We won. Okay. Uh, mole is hilarious this is like so redundant <laughs> this is very redundant this I I kind of hate it beehive hey maybe we can maybe we can slap oh god uh oh we have to sacrifice something here shoot
right with the mycologist coming up too. If I sacrifice, is there a way I can like? No, Uroboros. It's just it makes sense to just keep him there because then we we have Uroboros and Redheart as two separate win conditions. Though they're pretty dependent on each other. waste what a waste do i put uroboros on red heart do i put infinilife on red heart is there a way to make that borkin <clears throat> not without fecundity not without fecundity i don't think so i think in my head like i have that rare heart is supposed to be a rare card but or red heart red heart has to be a rare card but it's not God, I just really don't want this sigil on these. I, it, it's such a valuable space. It's more important that we leave Ouroboros potentially open for fecundity than it is that we leave Redheart open, but it's so... Uh, well, the good news is we go for Mycologist. We want to fail this because we don't want... We don't want a card because then we might be able to get a duplicate Ouroboros. Or a cat, which is also fine. We want to sack the Ouroboros. I mean, like, look at that. That's, that's the plan. That's what the plan's been. But what if I told you it could get, it could turn into a, a, a build where both of these had 99.99 on them? One easy payment of 99.99. I, I I don't want this. It could obviously be Bork and it could be great, but we would choose. Okay, so if we don't want this, we pick pick the uh, the sigil. I want the like. Uh, there's a good chance that um. A good chance we get ourselves another son of a gun of a Ouroboros. Oh my god, I hate you, game. I would have at least, like, to not offer me the. Oh god, I hate you, game. You could have at least offered me the cat or the red heart. Did you know about this? Were you in on this game? I'm obviously not taking the wolf. That sucks. That's super disappointing. Cat would have been great. So what do we have? We have the head up. We have nothing. We have nothing. All right. Um. Maybe we could get like a fecundity or a infinisac or something on that. That would be interesting. <coughs> Infinisac just the Infinisac sigil just being on the red heart is kind of nice. Okay, this is this is fine because uh, but Uroboros will just come back in our hand after he's killed. So this is just fine. We win there. Looking for the cat. Yive. Oh, it has flight block. <laughs> okay, well, we win this turn, but still. Okay. We've gone and done a win.
This is a bit concerning, but only a bit. Where's Ubi? Okay, I could win. Do I want to win this turn? Can I win this turn? I thought I could. Wait. Yeah, I can win this turn. Such an ability to have some Uroboros action going on, though. Let's meet in the middle. So this has to be Uroboros. <laughs> yeah. Literally has to be Robros. We'd have to sacrifice the red heart. Not bad. We got him up to eight. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll take it. He's now a very good card. <laughs> like, at, a, at eight eight, he is now a very good card. Uroboros. Uroboros. Amoeba? Why would I... Why would I take it? Mole Man is just... Mole Man goes in anything. He's fine. He's like, just... He does a good job of stalling. Uh, barf! This is all so bad. Like, I guess we can try and take the Bloodhound... Off of like cat. River Otter's like kind of tempting, I guess, because. Oh no, this is where it all goes downhill. We got Pack Rat now. Oh, this is where it all falls apart. We had such a clean, well oiled machine. This is where it all goes to hell. We had a, we had a system. You know what? I want to just, like... I want to make sure we actually just don't get more pack rats, because one pack rat is, like, it's fine. It's, they can be useful. Two pack rats gets to the point where then they eat your mycologist when you might either want something else to mycologist, or more importantly, maybe today, maybe we don't want a mycologist visit at all. So, let's go here. Uh, unbeknownst to me right now if I want to win this or not. Because we have such a... I don't want to win it. I don't want to win it. We have such a well-oiled machine that really hinges on drawing specifics. So even if that has a special sigil, I don't think I want it right now. Alright. Worst comes to worst, this is a 2-7 now. Yeah, now it's a good card. Now it's an actually good card, so I'm not too mad about having it. It, does it gunk up our machine a little bit? Yes. But is it a good card? No. I mean, yes. I think it is. No, I mean, yes. All right. We have Beehive. Beehive is a good way to block without losing tempo. This is some trash here. It's fine. Oh my, come, calm down, Mr. Game. 
We need like, dude. Oh wait, one, two. Oh, we win. If we want to win, we win, and I want I want to win. Believe it or not. Close your eyes. If you close your eyes, we shall get a win. Uh, yikes, though. All right. Uh, this will determine whether or not I go to merge or or fire. Uh, just a bunch of trash, man. Um, what would I do with a merge here? I guess I would give Bullfrog's upgrade to Bloodhounds. No, I would give Beehive's upgrade to Bloodhound. No, I'd give Beehive's upgrade to Mole Man. Is the one drop total but just So then what would I want to keep in my deck? What would I actually actively want to keep? I boy, I guess it's the bullfrog. Bun! We have a fire coming up too. Okay, fine. We'll go here. Oy, 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 oy. I think we want to I think we want to beehive the mole man. Because we might get more bees out of it, you know? And then we also don't have the beehive. Which I would consider to be a better thing. Okay, so we have a pack rat uh, potentially coming up. Okay, so we have no items though. All right. This is concerning with multi-strikes, if that is a thing. It is not a thing. In fact, it is very useless when all of your units are flying, you goofy, 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 goofy boy. Goofy, goofy boy. A raven, too, though. Uh, I'll take the win. Tanks. It's an avocado. Thanks. Do we want to win this? Usually, yes. Deck's getting kind of thick, though. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Nothing has bones. It's a no bones day. I don't care about this. Health again, you say? I'd rather have Pack Rat gone. Give me a 2 6 or give him death. Thank you. I, I would rather have, because that's the thing. Y you gotta think uh, is Pack Rat better than Bullfrog overall? Yes, absolutely. The ability to generate items is good. Don't get me wrong. But is drawing Pack Rat on turn one the most important turn in the entire game uh, better than drawing Bullfrog on turn one? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, mostly absolutely not. There's obviously some situation, but you're banking on RNG that you're going to get a good item. But, and it's on a boss, because on a boss fight you can play it first, that's what I was going to say, because you do get the smoke, but... I'll tell you what, we're actually looking for the raven. Okay. Um... Well... I'll, I'll take a win. The Raven would be a brainless way to have won this. Uh, this is an equally brainless way to, to have won this, though. Because let me... Let me show you a little something. Hey! <laughs> Do I want to... I, I can stack up my Ouroboros a little bit more. Do I want to... See, here's an interesting thing. The, the, the Raven Egg actually doesn't have flight. So we want to do it in that order. Cool. The cup runneth over uh, just in time for nothing to matter because I never went to a trapper. And I don't think I ever saw one either. Did I? 
I think I avoided one early. Gek. It's too it's too late, Gek. Uh Uraiuli? Or not Uraiuli. Uh oh god, what is it called? Oh boy, what's the what's the name? Ikarath? It's it's something. Ikara Ikarugi? <laughs> it's uh oh shoot. What was it? I think here I'll look at my video titles. So I, I had one. Nope, I can't remember. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Isharak. <laughs> it's irrelevant, and I had to look anyways. This is the Isharak. Gek is Gek is a good card, but it's a good card to merge stuff with to put sigils on. Uh, it's pack rat for the item, like hopefully item get or. Israk, which could actually... Here's the thing. If you get this in the moon segment, which is the segment I am least concerned about, if you get this for that segment, it's you, you can't lose. But the thing is, the part of the fight that I'm scared about is the beginning, and it's very important that you get the right card down. I don't care. Let's take it. And the card is sus. We got an Apostor Among Us. Alright, so we have... How many items? We have two items. So, no backpack. Merge. We could take the Bullfrog Sigil and put it on somebody else. Uh, probably a good call. Bloodhound. Uh, remove, just removes a trash card from our deck. Totem. I don't know if we even have another totem piece. It, it's pretty straightforward that we go here. And I will... Probably, I guess, end up. See, here's the thing. I don't want to put this... I could, like, put this on Uroboros, and that would be interesting in the sense that he would be a lot less likely to... Like, we, we probably wouldn't have anything getting in our way anymore. In the sense, like, if the Uroboros is on the field and we have, like, a cat on the field, too... We 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 win for sh like for sure, unless they've got like poison, I guess. I don't know. It's really tempting, actually. It's 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 a lot more tempting than I thought. Then the bullfrog, like I said, can be used for sacrificial bait very easily. But here's the concern: the bloodhound is actually a good card right now. It, it turning into a two seven has made it into a good card. Bullfrog. I don't know if there's even going to be anything flying. Mm. I don't know. There, there's genuinely an argument for this. Well, but it's not. Here's the thing. It's not Defender. It's um, Guardian. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is not actually that great. Let's just do this. Let's do this to remove the bullfrog to try and trim down our deck a little bit to mitigate the bad RNG. That's really what we're doing here. We are... I, I tried to trim my deck very thin. We have a scissors. Scissors are great for this fight. The bones are useless. We have literally nothing. What is this? Gek? Ah, oh, Gek. It's the skink tail. I can't remember what it's called. Loose tail? Yeah, loose tail. Okay, so we got the cat. So if we get the cat, I think we've won. Yeah, we've won. Don't do anything else yet, right? Oh, thank God. Okay. It's... Ooh, that's... Oh, that's an actual... <laughs> that actually sucks a lot. Bloodhounds. No, it's not... Because we're, we're not going to overflow. It's perfect kill. It's perfect kill. Okay, so we do three damage... That 
was the wrong spot for that. Well, it's irrelevant. We're one off lethal. No, we're not. Wait, what? I thought we had the one extra. Oh, because it resets to five in the middle of the fight. It doesn't reset back down to six. Okay, okay, okay. We we win here. Like We can't kill the the cat for that. The bloodhound is gonna give us a lot of turns, and the beehive is gonna give us a lot of a lot of action as well. The beehive actually make the beehive with spiky makes this uh, a free win, actually. Doesn't it? No, it's not. It, uh, it doesn't come back. I'm just thinking of that one that one run we had. Just don't mess with it right now. We're gonna draw Uba Dubo. Mr. Uraburos said, "You ain't going nowhere." There he is. Hello. Hello. Ah, sus. Why is he an eight? Does he eat the power of... Why is he an eight? I think there's a bug. I think he, t he got Red Heart's upgrade. But, like, it's not going away. I mean, whatever. Let's just win. I'll take a, I'll take a win. Nice. Nice. Did we ever... Did we lose a single candle? We did not. Look at that. Only six misplays. That's, uh... Clearly, because of how well we played. <laughs> um... Cards drawn 104, biggest attack 12. I'm surprised that that's that low. Sacrifice is made 74. I'll take it. Still... Nothing for that. We get a new card though. Tadpole, a water waterborn. Oh, he says oh, he's at zero cost. Interesting. Grows to a more powerful form after one turn on the board. He probably just turns into the toad. But he's a zero cost. Common. There's some fun to be had there. Uh, campfire giving him upgrades. It's a, like double campfire upgrade, so he goes like two attack or something. So he turns into what like a two, uh, three, a three two toad with a zero cost. Big broke. Um, putting something like fecundity. <laughs> fecundity on this is um uh, is. An infinite, more or less. The issue, the the only issue, there, there's one potential issue I see with this card, being that comes with cards that actually, that don't have a sacrifice cost. You can't, if if you got an infinite with it with fecundity, which is like the easiest thing to do. You put fecundity on this, you literally will have a board. You will will have an entire board of tadpoles, every single turn. That is what would happen. Obviously, th there's issues with multi-strike, there's issues with flight, there's issues with uh, multi- or, like, uh, bifurcated, trifurcated, all those things, those could cause issues where you die anyways, but the, that pairing right there is a, a board full every single time. Squirrelfish. Your squirrels have submerge. I don't care. 20 challenge points for that? I don't... Yeah, I, I, how often... How many times did I... How many times did I chump block with squirrels this game? There was one round where I did. I think there's only one round. We're going to add that for sure. Let's just take a... Let's take a gander. So we need 100 points now. So, like, theoretically, we do something like... Oh, God. It's really stacking up, though.
Uh, we can do something like that, and that's not that scary. It's not that scary. And how could we get it? Like, how could we get ourselves up to 120 without much concern? Truthfully, Bing Bang, this is a max heat run. Really? Uh, I mean, again. You technic technically, as long as these exist, you could do this, and then you could say, "There you go. That's this is technically plus this would be a max heat run." But the the maximum one that apparently is, is, is there's anything for any unlocks for is up to twelve. So curious. Well, alas, alas, that is that though, and that is going to do it today for inscription. We've been we've been killing it generally quite consistently here. I've heard lots of people say that the game is like impossible for them with this mod i don't i'm surprised to hear that i is it harder than the main game yeah but I, I think that the big thing that a lot of people are running into is inscription is a game where in the main game lots of people who don't play roguelike deck builders got into inscription and i think part of the reason is because there's a lot there was a lot of ways to fundamentally break the game in ways that were so easy to do and so so easy to do so often and they still exist in some capacity like we were one sigil away from having a, a unit with infinitely high attack two units with infinitely high attack so it still exists but it's just like a little bit harder to find that's just it it's just a little bit harder to find uh and you do have to be more intentional and you have to rely less on the meta progression stuff like there were meta progression things that you could get that that really did just make the game so much easier, and I wouldn't say it's even that much. I don't know. It's not that much harder to me. It it we have all these buffs on, like you take all these things off, and it's really not. I don't know. I I just love it though. I love it. I love the addition of these. They uh, I will say uh, I would ha be happy to play with literally all of them on except for single candle. I just this one concerns me due to the um, the fundamentally uh, broken nature of some fights with totems, and if you're doing max heat, you would have to have max. You would have to have totems and single candle on at the same time. It's just there's some there's some combos that I think are way too much, like spiky on any fight that has a poisonous creature because the interaction of the, that thing is very very frustrating. Uh, flying on uh, something where there's like a bunch of wolves right away. It's just there, there's a lot of there's a lot of combos that I feel like you need you need that little bit of leeway. Otherwise, there needs to be a lot of balance tweaking. But anywho, I've talked enough. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. I've been really enjoying this. I'm ex I'm excited to continue enjoying this. I'm gonna I intend to keep playing after the twelve heat. Let me. Let me make that clear. Uh, the, this is not even done yet. It's not even feature complete yet. There's four more decks. There's new cards to unlock. And there's the lore. And also, I just really like it. I just really like it. I would play... I'd be continuing to play this as long as you guys are enjoying it and supporting it. So comment down below. If you'd be sad to see it go, you gotta let me know. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. Like the, like the video while you're down there. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.